Hi, we are going to continue chapter 7 from 4 KSSM Cellular Respiration. The content standard for today's lesson is 7.3 Fermentation. The learning standard 7.3.1 state the factors that cause fermentation to occur in cells. 7.3.2 explain by using examples of energy production from glucose during fermentation in human muscle cells, in lactobacillus, in yeast, and in plants such as paddy. 7.3.3 write and explain word equations for lactic acid fermentation and alcohol fermentation. And the last one, 7.3.5, compare and contrast aerobic, respiration and fermentation. The success criteria for today's lesson. The first one, you should be able to explain what is fermentation. The second one, you should be able to write word equation for lactic acid fermentation. The third one, you should be able to write a word equation for alcohol fermentation. And the last success criteria is you should be able to compare and contrast aerobic respiration and fermentation. What is fermentation? Fermentation is the incomplete breakdown of glucose in the condition of limited oxygen or without any oxygen. Fermentation is different from aerobic respiration in its metabolic pathway after the glycolysis stage, meaning at the beginning, the glycolysis stage is still happening either in aerobic respiration or in fermentation. So for fermentation, after the glycolysis, the pyruvate molecules that are produced due to the breakdown of glucose molecule will undergo either alcohol fermentation or lactic acid fermentation. Now, we look at the first type of fermentation, that is alcohol fermentation. Alcohol fermentation is the incomplete breakdown of glucose to ethanol carbon dioxide and energy so you only have the substrate glucose without the oxygen because this is fermentation so alcohol fermentation can be divided into two one is yeast the second one is in plants okay so in yeast okay, ethanol that are produced is used in the making of beer and wine and also Yeast is also used in making the bread to ensure that the bread dough rises. This is due to the production of carbon dioxide. This is an example. The making of bread. The next one, alcohol fermentation also occur in plants. The example is paddy plant. Paddy plant grow in waterlogged area with less oxygen. Thus, the paddy plant undergo alcohol fermentation. Normally, the ethanol produced in the tissue during fermentation is toxic to the plant. But for the paddy plant, they have higher tolerance to ethanol. Why is that? Because paddy plant produce alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme. So this alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme can break down the ethanol molecule into non-toxic carbon dioxide. That is why the paddy plant can live in the waterlogged area. The second type of fermentation is lactic acid fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation is the incomplete breakdown of glucose into lactic acid and energy. So, lactic acid fermentation occurs in lactobacillus and the second one is in human muscle cell. In lactobacillus, the bacteria lactobacillus carry out milk fermentation to produce yogurt. Lactobacillus act on the lactose that is milk, the sugar milk and turn the lactose into lactic acid. 
the lactic acid will then coagulate casein that is milk protein. Coagulate meaning it will turn the liquid milk into semi-liquid milk. Okay, casein. Okay, to produce yogurt. That is why we have yogurt in the form of semi-liquid. So the lactic acid is actually the source of the sour taste that you can taste in a yogurt. The next one is lactic acid fermentation that occurs in human muscle cell. Same thing, you have incomplete oxidation of glucose, produce lactic acid and energy. So this process occur in the muscle during vigorous training. For example, when you are jogging or running. During vigorous training, the rate of oxygen use exceeds the oxygen supply by the blood circulatory system. So you use oxygen more than what you get from outside. So the muscle is in oxygen deficiency state or we call it as oxygen death. Okay, if you see the graph at the beginning of the exercise, the oxygen intake, okay, the oxygen intake during exercise, okay, is not enough. Okay, you have the pink color. Okay, it is not enough. So this one is lack of oxygen or oxygen death. So during this process, the glucose cannot break down completely. So each glucose molecule that is broken down can only produce 2 ATP or 150 kJ. So the side product is also lactic acid. So this lactic acid will accumulate until the lactic acid reaches a level of concentration that can cause muscle fatigue and muscle cramp. Once the vigorous activity stops, the intake of excess oxygen, so you start uh, try to get more oxygen, okay, the intake of excess oxygen will then oxidize the lactic acid back to carbon dioxide, water and energy. So when all the lactic acid has been oxidized, then the oxygen gap is said to be repaid. So, this part, the oxygen gap, is said to be repaid. This is the recovery stage. Now, we look at the similarities between aerobic respiration and fermentation. The first one, both processes involve the breakdown of glucose. And the second one, aerobic respiration and fermentation process begins in cytoplasm. And both processes occur in yeast, bacteria, animals, and also plants. The next similarity is both processes produce chemical energy in the form of ATP. And the last one, aerobic respiration and fermentation begins with glycolysis when the glucose is converted to pyruvate molecules. Now we look at the differences between aerobic respiration and fermentation. The first difference is the breakdown process of glucose in aerobic respiration is complete with the presence of oxygen. Whereas in fermentation, the breakdown of glucose is incomplete without the presence of oxygen or the supply of oxygen is limited. The next one, aerobic respiration start in cytoplasm and later continue in mitochondria. Whereas in fermentation, the process occur only in cytoplasm. Aerobic respiration produce water, whereas fermentation do not produce water. In aerobic respiration, glucose is oxidized completely into carbon dioxide and water. In fermentation, glucose is not oxidized completely into ethanol, carbon dioxide or lactic acid. And the last one, in aerobic respiration, one molecule of glucose can generate 2,898 kJ of energy. Okay, but in fermentation, 
one molecule of glucose can only generate 210 kJ for alcoholic fermentation or 150 kJ for lactic acid fermentation which is lesser than the energy generated in aerobic respiration. That's the end of chapter 7. So if you want to take the quiz on this topic, click the link below. You can find the link I put at the more info section. And don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more updates on the biology video. See you next time. Bye-bye.